Hey folks, it's I think the last week of July, it's a Wednesday, I don't know what day it is, but 2017, and I'm going to keep this video, try and keep it quick, because I don't have much phone life left, but today, or I should say, last Saturday, I had my grandma, she helped me clean all the walls the best we could, we cleaned the walls, the windows, the dash, I got half the ceiling done. It's as white as it's gonna get. And then today, I just finished siliconing all the little holes. Tried to keep them as flat as I could, just so that when the plywood lays on it, they lay on it flat. And um, I don't know if I could explain this in words, but. If you only silicone little hole, there's has a potential of just falling through. So I tried to lay it as you know on the circle and then around the circle. So that way it's more one big piece. And it's gonna have to be harder for that whole piece to come off than just a little speck of hole. And today is a somewhat in my book sad day. Hey there my today I'm painting the eight ways. They are going to eventually come out, but just as temporary, they will be spray painted, whatever the hell this is. I just found it in the cabinet. Hopefully it's black. Ooh. So, they pulled all the connectors out. The eight ways are completely dead right now. I could replug them back in, but now they're going to be black. I don't know. I just feel a little, I don't know if nostalgia is the word, but if you haven't seen it before, I've said I rode this bus since sixth grade up until pretty much graduation. It was kind of phased out in my junior year, 11th grade, because Ralph was getting other buses and, you know, but eight ways are going to get covered today. These will be the last pictures of them. Get a quick, very nice view. And yeah, I guess I could just take them off and sell the lenses, but I don't think I'll find a buyer that's going to want them anyway. So, and what am I going to get? Freaking two bucks for them? I'll pass. they are I also have to go down there and record the tobacco it is taking off we've been getting nothing but rain in my area for I don't think we've had a day without rain this may be the first in a week and a half but it's shooting off all right folks let me get these covered oh she is no more we've lost your privilege of stopping traffic, my girl. It's all over now. Listen to the Rolling Stones, they'll tell you. Prove it. Let me double check because I'm pretty sure I unhooked them. I unhooked them one day and I tried to reconnect them and one of them was in the wrong spot and they were all jazzed up. But, yep, disconnected. So, there we have it. And I'm going to crawl under here and see if I could trace the horn wires horn don't work you press the button in the center and you can hear like a click down in that fuse box where I was at but no horn so I don't know Let's see if I can trace the wires maybe there's a cut in them who the hell knows all right hi folks today is oh God. August 12th 12th 
rent. It's a, it's a Friday, I think. And I don't know. All right. It's dark out. It's, I don't know, 9, 9.30. I know this is going to be a dark video. It's going to be more me talking than footage. But, um, so we do have the plywood down. We got that done last weekend. Last weekend was just a mess of busyness. Our township bazaar was going on. I was working there every day. I had to do a lot of things for my gram. At card night. Busy, busy. And I would record this tomorrow in the daytime, but I will more than likely forget and it'll be about another week or so that this will be pushed off. And I don't know why my dome lights aren't working. They've always been spotty. I'll probably just go up here and play around with the light with the switch. I'll try again to come on, but so our plywood's down, three quarter inch pressure treated. Um, we use self-tapping screws, one inch and seven sixteenths. If you're doing this on your own, you might want to use a slightly longer screw. These ones did catch, but only kind of barely. You can only see like maybe two to four rings of thread. If you like go under the bus and look at it, you can only see like two to four rings of thread. So they did catch. We also use liquid nails. It's like an adhesive. So they're down there. They ain't going nowhere. Um, again, I apologize that it's dark. I'm just recording this because I have a good feeling I'm going to forget. I have the mind of probably a 70 year old. Um, let's see. We bought the wood two weeks prior. It sat in the garage. And um, it was out of the weather. But just a forewarning if you can. Try and space. Oh, the lights came on. Oh, don't, don't do much better for the camera. Well, half the lights came on. Um, try and space them out. Like, put spaces in between because there are still chemicals, wet chemicals, in this wood, and it will cause mold. We did find mold on our wood. We just put down regardless I mean we brushed it off we put it in the sun for a little bit but we still put it down regardless we put the mold face up um, I'm very confident that we won't have a mold problem because it's a school bus on a sunny day it gets hotter than hell in this thing it's like one one giant oven I'm sure that in a hot week of weather if not two weeks these things will be completely dry ass but dry they'll be dry um, so three quarter inch pressure treated that's what we went with it's down make sure you buy the screws that have a normal flat head that's a flat head obviously normal just your normal style screw when you get the self taps, don't get the ones like you used over here because the heads will stick out. And if you ever want to put like a nice floor flooring on top, you're gonna it's gonna be all bumpier than hell. You don't want that. And it is raining as you can hear. Um, I'm gonna go sit in the driver's seat and just talk to you guys. So, like I said, today is I think the 11th. It's August. It's a Friday. So, a long time ago I posted that I got an insurance quote. That was one of the big deciding factors if I got this bus was can I insure it? Called Progressive Direct. Told them I needed a commercial policy for personal use. Gave them all my information and they got me a quote for I think it's on the full coverage. Wow, it's starting to rain. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. I might have to redo this after all. Um, for full coverage, 
on my name, a 19 going on 20 year old's name, full coverage, it was 1700 a year. That was before, you know, discounts, you know, student discount, ABS, you know, try and haggle a little bit, you know, see what you can get out of it. Um, so I called, I was going to activate it. You now we're going to activate it. Then we were going to run down to pilot with this thing, get a cat scale way in for our, we need a weight slip to get the weight class lowered on here so we can make it a non CDL. Well, I called yesterday. Progressive no longer insures converted school buses. Period. I was fucking pissed. I was feeling somewhere between pissed, depressed, and just disappointed. Now, it was probably my own fault for letting them know that it was a converted bus. I mean, if you go on schoolie.net, you could tell that you have to be very, I don't want to say sneaky, but you have to be very particular of what you say, you know, because insurance companies for some reason don't want to hear converted school bus, unless maybe it was done by a professional, which that is a thing. So... So I got to start all over, basically. They transferred me to a local broker that might help me, which she hasn't called me in a day, which she said she will call me that day. So I'm guessing she's having quite some time trying to find something. Um, so I pondered on it a little while, and I was just going to call, you know, commercial, all state commercial, state farm commercial, farmers commercial, and see what I could do. But just as a refresher, well, there's a good little picture. Um, this is an empty shell. One can say it's a truck. I repurposed this bus as a utility vehicle a truck, um, whatever you want to call it. My title is Reconstructed Bus. When I was talking to Progressive, it doesn't matter what the fuck the title was. It was under their understanding that it was a repurposed bus. Therefore, they won't do it. I hope I'm not making this too confusing. But one idea I had, I have yet to call. One idea I had was call them, tell me, no, I want insurance on my vehicle, vehicle, or my truck, and just tell them, you know, 2001, international. A lot of buses were made with the 3800 chassis, so I was just going to use the words 3800. When they get the VIN number, they might see that it is a school bus, you know? It's in the VIN number, that's what it was. That, if they look hard enough and they notice that, it might raise a flag, it might not. It's something I gotta try. Um, I already forget what I else said. <laughs> um, I'll try not to repeat myself. If it's not or not already too confusing, but um, so people who are thinking about doing this are already in the process of doing a conversion. Please just double check every now and then about your quote, or even if you don't have a quote, you gotta get it insured because how the hell are you gonna drive if it's not insured? I don't know. I would. But I'm too young to be doing white collar crimes or anything like that, so I don't need none of that shit. Um, I 
I think that's all I wanted to say. So be aware of your insurance. Like I said, it's been over a year. I think I got, I requested this on the 28th of August last year, the quote. And maybe policy changed, maybe it didn't. Maybe I didn't use my right words. Maybe it was just because I didn't talk to the same person that I did last time, which I had their extension and I tried it and I didn't get through. So maybe that was shame on me, I don't know. Another thing that I'll probably post as a separate video because it's kind of like a subcategory to what this video will be. But I was looking around, I don't know how the hell I found the document, but I found this document for our title inspectors. It's like a study sheet. It's like a guide on how they have to, how they inspect it, their vehicles, basically the R titles. So, excuse me. Um, you know, I was leafing through it. It's like 30 pages or something like that. And it go right in the beginning, it gives you the very specific definitions of what every vehicle is in the state of Pennsylvania. Bus, school bus, motorhome, camper, like it's all there. In the state of Pennsylvania, for a for something to be inspected and passed as a motorhome, it must have four of seven components. And when I'm completely finished doing this, I will have, I think, like six or five of the seven components. Basically everything but a, a shitter. Um, that's something further down the line. As of this second, I just want this hollow body vehicle inspected and insured. I just want to be able to drive around for a little bit. I've been sitting on this thing for a year. I'm not going to tell you how many miles I put on under the radar, but I'm tired of taking it where I'm at. I'm so limited, you know. I just want to get the hell out there. I want to drive. I just want to stretch its legs on the interstate, see how it handles. You know, like you do in any vehicle you buy, new or used. You just want to stretch its legs, get to know it even better. I have yet to do that, you know. I mean, some of you might be sitting there and thinking, well, just do the damn conversion. Just completely finish it and fuck it, just do it. I have money, but I don't have all the money to do that. And it's going to take time. I'm going to be going back to school. I really hate to be sitting there in class again for another year thinking about this thing. School ain't meant for me and I ain't meant for school. So I need to try and stay as focused as possible and maybe if I got a bus to drive around, that'll take some of the, I don't know what you wanna call it, stress, take my brain off stuff, you know? So. <laughs> That's all the advice I got for insurance. There's not many YouTube videos and that I found explaining and talking about this. Maybe because it's so lucrative. Maybe because it's just so hard. Maybe because people think it's too personal and they're going to get their social security number somehow. I don't know. I'm trying to make a video for people that are getting involved in this so they know what the hell they expect. The worst thing is to dump money into this thing. This 40 foot hunk of metal. Have it sitting wherever the hell you have it sitting in your front yard, in your town lot. Who the hell knows? And then learn once you've dumped all this fucking money into it that, hey, I can't even drive this thing because nothing will recognize it as a legal vehicle. That would be a buzzkill. So. I hope this video makes it to people. Anyone. It's a shitty video. I'm recording it off of iPhone 6. I don't care. I'll accept criticism, but please just do your homework on this. This is fun homework. This is for something real, not fucking school. That's horseshit. Excuse my language. But, um, all right, I think that's the end of my rant for today. I don't know when I'm going to get this uploaded, though. My internet's been spotty. I don't know why. I was uploading an original video yesterday. But I realized I didn't like 
I didn't like it. And I better just re record everything. So here I am in the dark giving you a very poor quality video. But it's just plywood. It's just plywood. Um, I don't know. I don't got nothing else. Well, if I got one other thing, it'll be this. I'll talk about the plywood a little bit more. Uh, let's see. We'll reverse the cam. Um, this first piece, we cut for the corners. I got a sliver in my toe. I'm out here terrified. We cut the corners. I said, oh, just, you know, stick this corner of plywood in right there. And we'll just push down and it'll go right over the lip. You know, it'll flex in the middle and it'll go right over. So we had to cut this one in half and put it in as piece one and piece two. Second pieces, second pieces we put in long ways. Notched out the wheel wells. We thought, hey, this is also kind of a good thing because we got a pretty decent amount out of this plywood, you know. Not much wasted. Whatever. These two are long ways. And those two are also long ways. There's only a few inches. We decided we're not going to try and dick around with these two things. Just because I'm going to have to grind them out. It's going to make another mess. Then we have to attempt to put them back in at one point. We have to raise them, put them back in, drill new holes. That's okay. We don't need that. I can try to get the sliver out of my toe. Um, yeah, so we're not going to screw around with those. Besides, there's nothing wrong with them anyways. I'm not messing with the, the cockpit, the cabin. I'm not messing with it. It's fine. Like to keep something still original on here. Um, that's it, folks. I do think that that is it. Any comments, questions, concerns, please put below. Um, any suggestions? I'm wide ass open for suggestions, folks. Wide ass open. For anything, I don't care. I'll greatly take insurance, though. <laughs> I already have footage um, I recorded yesterday, but I will show you what the screws we bought looks like. And um, they are coated in like a, I don't know, I like to say rubberized coating. The, the screws aren't going to react with the chemicals in the wood. They aren't going to like rust out quick or anything. It says right on the box, meant for pressure treated wood to metal. So that's, if it doesn't get more specific than that. Okay. Once again, there's a quick overview. Sorry that it's at night. This is half ass production here. Gets the point across. But yet, doing it cheaply, and that's all that matters, getting the point across. All right, folks, have a good one. I was just reviewing that footage I was going to insert here, but I didn't like it. It still kind of referenced something that I didn't want it to. So this is a recap. Cut reproductions here. <laughs> so... Let me show you the screws that we used. If I can find them again. I still got that damn splinter in my foot. Yeah. Going to the light. Like I said, if you pick some up for yourself, try and get a little bit longer if you could. If you're using three quarter inch, I would do that just, just to play it safe.
because there are some spots that ooh, more light. there are some spots that it didn't catch the drill pit got through but when it came time for the threads to start catching it just couldn't make it my dad would stand on it while I drilled and I would stand on it while he drilled and it just wouldn't catch and we're not you know 140 pound people so and here's the liquid nails we used How deep that is. Damn you, corporate America. Which I don't know. All the ones I noticed were like that, but then there was this one loner that was normal. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but whatever. You'll need at approximately two boxes of those screws. That's what we used. We actually ran out in the beginning. We got one, two, three pieces down, and then we just didn't have any more, so we had to go get another box. And, uh, whatever. There's some of the mold. We gotta, we're gonna, this is getting a new home tomorrow. Make a little bit of room in here. And these are leftover strips. These are from where we cut out the wheel wells. This will not go to waste whatsoever. Not at all. There's four of them here. Did not go to waste. Um, so, screws, insurance, ranting. <laughs> I think that about does it, folk. Folks. So, please share this video to people that are getting involved. Please. Please share this. Hell, don't even share. I don't want the views. Just talk to them. Get them aware. Just be aware. There's nothing worse than going into something blind when you can have the resources to try and figure it out, you know? Screw it. All right. This should be my official goodbye. I will see you in the next one. I'm going to attempt to record some more progress about the tobacco in the garden down there it is taken off once again i didn't record myself doing it because i just went and did it and asked questions later but i'll, I'll discuss about the maintenance thing and uh yeah it's doing real good all right folks have a good one stay safe and have fun with buses.